The number two overall seed Longhorns are confident and cruising as they face the Cinderella of the Supers, the University of South Florida. 0-2. Oh, On the ground, left side, near the line. Lane goes to second. Not in time. It pulled Ruiz off the bag. Texas takes the lead. Now you have runners at first and second. The defense giving away outs against Texas, not a good idea. 0-2. Oh, Threw it again, and Eaton back up the middle. Faltini steps on the bag and turns it into two. Faltini's been solid all season long at shortstop. Steps on that bag, throws it over to first, eliminates any kind of rally that USF was going to have in this inning. If you're out, you don't mind that Kennedy and Tico leads off. And he drives this one deep to left center and off the wall. Kennedy can fly as he races around third, and Antico delivers. 2 nothing Horns. What a find for the Longhorns. This pitch down and away. He doesn't try to pull it. He goes with it, showing his pop to left center field. And Kennedy is already rounding second before that ball even hits the ground. He will score easily in the Longhorns. Capitalized right now to that infield hit. Ninth pitch of the plate appearance is on the way. And Kennedy hits it hard to center. Chasing Pena back on the run. He makes the catch. Tumbling near the track. And he gave a speech from the heart. Pops this one up. Behind third. Long way to go. And a sliding play made by Kennedy. One down. Goes after it, understands where the defense is, communicates real well, calls it. Gets down low for the slide to make the play. He's going on contact. It's in the air to center. Should be deep enough. Faltini to the plate. Texas by three. The cleanup man, Daniel Cantu, leading off against Tanner Witt. And Cantu hits this one hard, lifts it to left center, back toward the wall, and up against the wall, it is gone. Cantu goes deep, and USF is within two. Wow. I'll tell you what, for a second there, I thought Antico made this play. Again, this pitch is down and away. See how he sticks the nose right on top of that pitch. Strong guy can too. Ball just barely goes over. Takes a peek. It was out of here. Payoff pitch. Brutcher pulls it deep to right field. And this game is tied. Are you kidding me? This guy is incredible. What an at-bat. We saw it earlier in the game when he came in to pinch hit for Nelson Rivera. Not taking the bat out of his shoulders. This time, he silences a full house, a packed house in Austin. And Tico potentially leading off next inning if Kennedy has got him out here. Kennedy drives it to center. Pena's back, and it's over his head. Hard one around third. Texas walks it off. So many things went wrong for South Florida right there. With the runner at first base, you have to play no doubles. You can allow, allow any ball to get hit over the outfielders. Right then and there, Roberto Pena playing shallow in center field, allows the ball to beat him in center field. And the error, the costly mistake in the infield cost the University of South Florida a chance to go to the top of the 10th inning. Great comeback right here by the, the Longhorns. First pitch, fastball down. 
hits it hard, but there's no reason why Roberto Pena is playing so shallow. He has to play no doubles. With two outs, Arduan scores easily from first base. How about that moment for Eric Kennedy, who has called this season for him a grind all year. And he's got his team one win from Omaha.